what's up world i wasn't able to be as on it yesterday with the drop of a and w american horror because <clears throat> i was working and so i'm a day late but you know that's life sometimes you're not just sitting at your apartment doing nothing when lana drops a new track so let's listen to it i am so excited i've managed to not listen to it yet don't ask me how i just had to do this for you motherfuckers all right seven minutes 14 seconds um yeah let's let's just get into it sorry i just woke up i haven't even washed my face drinking my coffee A and W, baby. All right. Okay, so far, moody, vibing. It's reminding me a little bit of, um, uh, oh, oh, dark, but just a game somehow, some way. Just like the melody and the pace. She hates her mom, bro. And she's not afraid to talk about it in every single song. Oh, that's kind of sad. Do you really think I give a damn what I do after years of just hearing them talking? Like, is she saying that she's become so numb to even her own actions by the things other people say about her? Maybe. Or saying, I live in Rosemead, really. Is the Rosemead, it must be like a fancy ass hotel, but she's actually at the Ramada Inn, bitch. Mmm. It's not about having someone to love me anymore. This is the experience of being an American whore. Right, Suki? That's sad. She's like, bruh, I'm over it. I'm over love. I just want to get fucked. Maybe that, that's the vibe of the album, because in There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard, she says, fuck me to death, love me until I love myself. She's just over this shit. All right. I love when she goes up there with her voice. It's so satisfying. It's just so nice, the texture that she achieves. Ask me why I'm like, I'm a princess, I'm divisive. Ask me why I'm like this. Maybe I'm just kind of like this. I don't know, maybe I'm just like this. I mean, valid, we should all just be saying that. Like, what's your problem? Maybe I'm just like this, all right? Well, this is the experience of being an American whore. So nice, I love that. American whore. Does it get any more Lana than that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Oh my gosh. If I told you that I was raped, do you really think that anybody would think I didn't ask for it? Bruh, that shit's dark. <laughs> okay, I like that. Didn't testify, I already fucked up my story. 
like I can relate to that because even in times of when I'm like being honest about something, I feel like I can fuck up my own story. Like, sorry that I'm expressing myself incorrectly and that it's not good enough for you. Like I've dealt with that so much in personal relationships. She's just, so, she like sings about such delicate little topics and it, she does it so well. Suki, stop. She wants to play right now. Did you know a singer can still be looking like a side piece at 33? That's hot. So at least she still thinks she's like a sexy hoe. Experience of being an American whore. I love how she says that. This is the experience of being an American whore. Being an. It's like. Being an American. Sounds so nice. What's happening? What's happening? Oh my. <laughs> This is so cool, oh my god. It's giving um, Lord Loveless, whatever that song is called. And it's amazing. I just wanna see her vibing out on stage while this section of this song plays, like, being sexy AF, for real, oh my god. That was sick. The production is just so clean. It's so nice. And I like, her voice is so like, in the front, like on top of everything here. And at the beginning it felt like it was almost like a whisper beneath the music a little bit. What's that mean conceptually? And when she's talking about Jimmy, is she talking about herself? Your mom called, I told her you fucking up. <laughs> Your mom called, I told her you fucking up. <laughs> like Jimmy only called, Call me when you want to get high. Jimmy only love me when you want to get high. Like, I only love myself when I want to get fucked up. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like it's conceptual because I feel like Jack Antonoff posted something calling Lana Jim. And I feel like whenever she sings about Jim or Jimmy, she's singing about her relationship with herself. It's kind of silly sounding like the shimmy shimmy coco bap kind of sounds silly, but I feel like it's going to grow on me the same way. Down at the Meta Music Business Conference grew on me. Also, can we just talk about how nice this trap is? Beat is. It's so nice. Okay, that whole bit was amazing. Okay, I think I'm on to something. What do you guys think? Jimmy, you should switch it up, baby. Light it up. Because I feel like she has talked about having substance issues her whole life and she's sung about it. Like, Jimmy, you should switch it up. It's like she's playing the devil on her shoulder, talking to Jimmy, who's maybe like the bad version of herself. Like, you should switch it up, light it up. If you leave the house, find me in the club. Like, your mom called. I told her you're fucking up big time, but I don't care. I already lost my mind. If I lie it up, find me in the club. Like, what do you what do you think? Come on. Oh my God, that song is so fun, and also just like the 
goddamn interview magazine photo shoot is out of this world. She looks unbelievably hot, and I love that Billie Eilish interviewed her. Um, amazing song. I think I like it slightly more than Tunnel. Um, mostly, I don't know, it's just fun. It's giving, like, fun summer. All right. What did you guys think? A&W, American Whore. Your mom called, I told her, you're fucking up big time. Um, yeah, I think it's all about her and how she views herself and the different sides of herself, and I love it. Um, but yeah, happy, happy Wednesday. Can't wait for that full album drop. Peace out! Mm.